Madhouse Podcasting Network. What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the podcast. It's been an, an amazing past couple of weeks, and it's just continuing to get that uh, where we want it at that level. Uh, it's been fun recording again, but I'm here with another special guest. This is Allison. Meowdy. Allison has been in the talks <laughs> for about a year now Ugh, to join yes. the crew, and we've just been both so busy with life and, and whatnot that <laughs> we finally and dying. <laughs> finally yeah and dying and, and all that and and we, and we finally set the date and today is that date welcome thank you i'm happy to finally be here talking trash with you <laughs> yeah you know that's, that's all it's about you know it's just uh it's all that uh, you know we're, we're gonna have a fun time obviously you have a a long history with haunt um that's being... a nice way to call me old thank you <laughs> no <laughs> uh, you you were yeah, obviously a guest at one point now you, uh, you've been doing it for some time uh yes i actually at some point made a list of everything just so i knew how many years and i'm sorry i just opened it first year was 2003 oh wow not yeah that was when i first turned 18 and then i did let's count how many years it's been one two three four. just got the list pulled up ready to go Oh god, this is year seventeen. <laughs> seventeen years. At the... And I had years that I took off too. That's that's sad. Now, <laughs> let's not all do the math. <laughs> <laughs> seventeen years total in the in the haunt scene, Fuck. man. That's I mean, there's that, a lot to share with that thing. That's sad. That's sad. Yeah. It's not sad. It's cool. <laughs> you know, like I wish I could have that many years doing this, and I'm only going to be on year four. So. Well, I'll get to work. Once you stop feeling emotions, it gets easier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I really just kind of am at that point where I'm just locked into work and just love interviewing people. It's fun. So Yes. It's a lot yes. of fun. So take it back a little bit. When did you know that uh, you wanted to start doing this? When it, when was the first time that, that haunt bug hit you? Uh, I remember very specifically the first time I ever saw a scary movie. And I was in – Fuck elementary school. I was really young. I remember I, because I have a couple cousins that are two years older than me. And I remember spending the night with them, going to the movie store, renting Hellraiser, which is pretty like intense for your first like real horror movie. Hell yeah. Especially because it has like all like the, you know, the sexual connotation parts of it, the BDSM parts, which if I'm so young, I don't even understand that either. <laughs> so that was kind of like. It was a lot. And I remember like staying up all night, like terrified to sleep because there were open windows in that room. Yeah. And yeah, after that, I just like, but I very, very remember that being like the first and then just loving scary movies. Uh, I wanted to get into special effects makeup, which I did. Nice. Do. I went to school for it, but I, that's more just like a hobby now. You just do it when you're it's, like, whatever. <laughs> yeah, no, I like doing it um for fun right and as opposed to as a hustle I, I did that for a while and i was just like not what i expected it to be and like that industry any filmy type industry a lot of it is who you know who's ass you want to kiss and yeah who you know <laughs> i mean i think you're a perfect fit for the knights of horror right there you just you just told it as it is <laughs> that's how it is man it's talented and as it is i i, I enjoyed it but it was getting to the point where there all like the, the scummy people out there and people that didn't want to pay were just like, you know, undercutting everyone. And yeah. I was just losing its fun. And I was like, you know, I'm just going to stop before I absolutely despise doing this. So, yeah, no, I feel you. And so, uh, you, you start oh, watching and because of that. Then I wanted to do, I was like, well, let me work in a haunted house. Let me try that. You know, there so you just go. like a yeah. combination. I know there's a lot of people out there who will work at haunts and they like, Oh, they don't really like, scary movies or this or that but i'm like the quintessential i guess person you'd imagine like oh yeah i love the scary makeup i love the scary movies i love this i love gross stuff right you know? yeah i'm the I, I think i'm the same way i i love all that i mean i have so many different parts in my head that i'm just like okay let, let's turn this part on and let's exactly let's, let's dive into some horror movies or let's turn this part on and let's dive into a marvel film you know what i mean so yeah no I, and i do too like i love marvel i love 
action movies, which is super weird and unexpected that I would also love those. Right. But I, and I do love the old like 80s, 90s, cheesy B horror films. Like that's my jam right there. Yeah, I, I, I noticed that because on Instagram, I uh, I always see your stories and you'll be watching like a, another horror film. And I'm just like, what in God's... I like to what? post like the weird obscure murder scenes. <laughs> yeah, it's like films that I've never even heard of. And I'm like, where is... I need to watch this film. Like, uh, Bless my boyfriend because I'll be posting it laughing. He's like, this is not funny. I'm like, this is hilarious. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's the whole reason why we watch these films. For the outrageous and funny yeah, murders, I, you know? I am a sucker for a good original kill. Yeah. Now I feel that. You know, I mean, I'm not a CGI. You know, I don't like CGI. I want, you know, blood and guts, real blood. Yeah. You know, that's practical. What all, that's what it's all about to me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, practical for sure. I mean, I think that's why to this day, one of my favorite uh, horror films is The Thing. Uh, John Carpenter's. Ooh. Um, definitely not the remake because that one was. That was garbage. Unfortunate. Uh, yeah, it was, it was just too much CGI. Yeah, I, I, I respect the thing so much because of the practical. Um, and, exactly. And, and just knowing Carpenter. Same for like Evil yeah. Dead, for instance. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Carpenter and Rami, you know, they're they're really big on practical. Um, same thing with, uh, what's what we'll call it too, uh, American Werewolf in London. One of my favorites too. Oh, yeah, that's a good movie. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah, the, yeah. the makeup on that time was just unheard of. And then when it, when it finally dropped in theaters, like people were blown away by it. So... Oh no! Yeah, I love all all of it. Give it to me. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, when did you first uh, go to your first haunt? I actually have like I have like very specific memories of like like five minute time frames that happened, and I remember one. It was so long ago. They still had Alien Attack. Okay. Do you remember that maze? I mean, I've heard of it. Yeah. To it. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard of it. Yeah. <laughs> and. It, it's everything you're picturing in your head, like over the top, cheesy, just like in alien insanity. And for some reason I was just so terrified of it and watching your video now. I mean, you love it because you know, it's older, but it's not scary yeah. at all. And I remember like being one of those people who had my eyes covered, grabbing onto <laughs> my friend, like crying. Cause it was so intense for me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I can relate to the same thing the first year I went to a haunt, so. Except it wasn't and, my friend, it was my dad. Yeah, and for it to be, like, my first haunt, and it to be, like, of that caliber of not has, you know. Yeah. It yeah. And I remember just being, like, I think after that, a couple, I waited a couple years before I was brave enough to try it again. But at that point, I was like, you know, I'm, I want to do this. Like, that was awesome. Yeah, man. I mean, I, for one, uh, I... I when I went to my first haunt, which was in 2008, not scary farm, um, I was just terrified. Uh, and you don't know what to expect, which is the best part. Like, yeah. That's why I like to go to new ones. Yeah. Cause I'm like, I don't know what to expect. And that's what I love. Yeah. And, and yeah, it was just, it was terrifying experience. And I remember we just had to leave. We didn't even make it like two hours. We had to leave. <laughs> my, yeah. Like, I think I did like three mazes. I remember another one being dead man's wharf, which used to be it where the, haunted shack was right it was kind of like a, i know what you did last summer okay like the the monster was like um like a skeletal creature and like a rain slicker with a hook right and it was so awesome Sounds i remember awesome, yeah. i remember blood by you which is one of the you know do you remember all these mazes am i, I these two no, no 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 I'm, i i i hear the names a lot a lot of people will when i talk to them that's something they bring up yeah. so like the name the names sound familiar i don't think i've just any, seen any walkthroughs of them blood by you there's some videos of that up that's like the ultimate um first of its kind like the backwoods hillbilly type that right. you know everything bases stuff off of now yeah and then yeah. of course you had lord the vampire which you know everyone loved yeah I, I do remember hearing that one a lot a lot of people like that one i remember going through uh inquisition presented by the crypt keeper do you remember that yeah i do remember the crypt keeper being there at one point <laughs> yeah like the yeah. last year of it, it was like presented by it and there was like this little pre-show which in retrospect i don't know what the point was but at the time it was awesome <laughs> it was just a good crossover there like we, we, we could under, do it so underground yeah yeah <laughs> underground which was the you know mad max type yeah that was badass yeah yeah it was back was that back yeah. in the day when they had the uh the gauntlet too 
Oh yeah. Dude. The gauntlet with Steve I, Camp I, Snoopy used to be, you know. It was it was yeah. so cool. I I that's unfortunate that that's been changed, but know. you know, with, with I, time I, comes I, change I, and progress. I'm crossing my fingers for the fiftieth they'll they'll bring back a version of that. Yeah, oh. hopefully one day. I mean, how long has the hollow been? There. Oh, I want to say a few, been a few years, years now. Yeah, yeah, like five or six years is going on, I think. Maybe no. that might be. It was whenever. Maybe next year that'll yeah. have a reclaim. I think it was after Special Ops left that area, and then the next year they yeah. brought it in. So is that, that's been the same for a couple of years, except for adding the stories, I think. Yeah. Right? I, go- I feel like this year, they or 2019, they really kind of really Pushed tied, it, yeah. tied more origins into it. Um, Which is cool. Yeah. Yeah, so. I think maybe not this year, but next year maybe that'll get a tiny retheme. Yeah, it, I, I mean, would, it's I would just, I would just like another maze to go back there because I feel like it sucks for them that a lot of guests don't walk through Camp Sleepy completely. Yeah. yeah. Which is not their fault. They're just, you know, if you're not like a fan of the event and you're just going as a one-off and you look at the map and see nothing past it, you know, you're not probably not going to walk through it. Nah, yeah, so, and that's that sucks for them because uh, you know they deserve to scare everybody. <laughs> I I did notice that in 2019 too. It was it, we would sit there a couple nights. There wouldn't be a lot of foot traffic going there compared to what you see like in Carnival or Ghost Town. So yeah, um, it sucks. Same for I haven't actually gone through Forsaken Lake, but I think similar. There's yeah, there's not thing. too much back there. Yeah, but the the other problem with Forsaken Lake too is I know it's a small zone, but it's also very understaffed. Um, is it? I did never even yeah. walk through it. So tell me whatever you want about it. Yeah, it, it really is just uh, it, there, and, I, and I've talked to a few people about that uh, that worked it, and it's just it's just there's not a lot of they didn't really staff that one too much. So like there was only I think like two different groups that would come out to split shifts and whatnot. So it'd be like one group, but it would, I think there was only like a total of like twenty people there. Oh man! But then when you split that up for like breaks, it's like ten on, ten off. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, then you have one person calling sick, one person who got yeah. hurt or something, and then so, it's like, and it really feels. Yeah. It well, was, it's beautiful. At least it's beautiful. You yeah. Know? But, Scenic wise, though, it's outstanding. I just wish they still had that, that maze on top of Reflection Lake, so that there'd be yeah. a reason to like hang out in that area like for a long time. Yeah. What was the last one there? Wasn't it Gunslingers? Yes, it was, it was a uh, bad moon. Yeah, remember like the last year too, they put like a werewolf spin yeah, on it. Yeah, that was that was badass. I mean, you're mixing I the like old the, west with the, the music for it. Yeah, no, I yeah. I thought it was a cool. I just I you know, it. I wish there was something still over there. Yeah, they need to put something, especially if they really want to dive deep into origins. They can really like tie something into Forsaken Lake, where it, like explains the origin of how those people became how. They are now. Yeah, you know I mean, I mean so. before anyone complains, I understand why they they're not doing stuff in the park. Obviously, Gabe, they guess were complaining. They didn't want it. I get it. I'm just yeah. saying that I missed it. Yeah. So I'm just giving my opinion. No, you you grew up uh, <laughs> you grew up seeing it all change. You know what I mean? And and a lot of people coming into this world are seeing it for the first time how it is right now. So yeah, and I yeah. missed when the whole park felt. You know, their tagline used to be was like nowhere to hide. Yeah, that was awesome that was yeah then i really at the time felt like there there was like no i remember one year i think they were talking about oh there's no safe zone or something yeah everything was and that's how that's what i love when you're coming in there the whole thing to be you know immersive yeah i want every area of the park filled with at least something that way that's that's something only a big theme park is capable of doing right exactly and that's what you want because you come during the day and you're immersed in these different zones you want to come at night and get the same like feeling of just same feeling yeah. somewhere else completely yeah. no i feel because there's a lot of there's a lot of dead spots where you're just kind of walking and you're like oh well i'm hoping something happens like uh the spot that ends from like the barn of ghost town all the way to um uh the fountain in in boardwalk uh yeah all dead um that little alleyway that goes down the log ride just dead you know what i mean so that kind of like yeah you know Fiesta Village get, too now. they're huge spaces and whatnot but you know yeah. You know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so let's talk about your first year finally getting on. Uh, 18 years old. You finally were like, fucking I'm yes, doing it. Yes, I was. This was back in the day when, like, you would just count down until you turned 18 so you could go higher. Yeah. And when they did a new hire, you used to have to camp out because they would 
it basically like whoever's in line first gets to aud- like audition first. Right. And it yeah, used yeah. to be that there weren't auditions. You would just basically go in and if you, you know, they'd have yeah, like ask you eligibility questions. Like, can you work these nights? Can you do this? And you say yes. And they would just have these big binders that were for each maze with all the positions. Right. And they'd bust them out and say, do you want this spot or this spot? You know? Yeah. It's a lot and, easier. But if you first come, first serve. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, and I, like, they went away with the overnight. I understand, obviously, like, the hotel was complaining that people were there all night. It's not safe to have people on the property. But it's just one of those things, like, the excitement of just, like, hundreds of people, like, in yeah. line had, haven't slept, you know? Everybody's telling stories. Everybody's talking with each exactly, other. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. It was just like one of those fun things to like, to be like, I slept outside of Knott's for rehire, you know? Yeah. Just to something that you could just pass down later on. You know what I mean? It's just like tell people yeah. about it. And, and it used to be so, so different. <gasps> you said if you, you had to at least work five years before you were even allowed to talk about streets. Oh, wow. And you talk, yeah. Even like talked about it before then. People would like be like, shut up. <laughs> you haven't even been here five years. Shut up. You got to earn your like, spot. It used to be very much. You had to be there long. And even then, after being there five years, you had to get like permission to audition for it. And you still probably won't make it your first year. Right. Like it was hard. Yeah. Hard to get. I, I, and and like, it, yeah, I hear a lot of stories about that, too, of, of when it was for streets. It was like pretty much you had a you had a. You had to do your time before you even were thought of going oh, on streets. Oh, yeah. And then I can't remember how many, if you had to be on streets for five years before you could even get a jersey as well. Right. You, you can't just get those either. And that, for me, I wish was still the same. Because, like, when you have these kids wearing them who worked one season or half a season, you know, it just takes away from the, yeah. I don't know. It takes away from, like, earning what it. it. Used to, what it used to mean. Yeah, it yeah. used to mean, like, hey, I've been here 10 years. I've worked my ass off, you know? Right. Yeah. And so I, I've always been a fan of those jerseys too. Change, those jerseys are exactly. so cool. They're like really good. But, but I liked it more when you had to like really, you know, earn it. Yeah. Cause uh, what, what do they got? They got hockey jerseys. They got baseball jerseys. Yeah. Those they used really to just two, right? be the hockey ones. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, the, the baseball ones are pretty fresh looking. Yeah. I'm a huge, I'm a huge baseball guy. So, you know, yeah, those ones are cool looking. But Plus, it's just so crazy how much it's changed in over time. Right. You yeah. know, and now they just don't have the people that are staying here. If you're all those people, those old timers, you know, they retired. Yeah. And just now that there's so many other like haunts in the area, people don't have to try so hard to be there for every year because if they don't, they have other options to go to. Yeah. And like there's just if that makes sense, like not, you know, they, yeah. they don't have this prime pick as they used to because now there's other events. Yeah. Cause I mean, you got, I mean, Knott's was the, the, the only one to the work. Only at, one, yes. Right. Yeah. And SoCal too. And probably the world at the time, you know, I mean, not a lot of people were doing, no one really at the time when they first opened. Were, were yeah, doing even when like I that. started back there, 2003, I don't remember there being any other thing like even around really. Right. Yeah, and then, you know, obviously Horror Nights came into the picture, and they do their Oh, I'm sorry, I forgot about Horror Nights, but that one, it wasn't really, like, a direct competitor for scare actors because it was so far away. Yeah. You're either, like, yeah, yeah, you're either, like, in the Orange County area or you're in the Los Angeles area, you know what I mean? Exactly, and, like, people would go to rehire and, like, you know, get turned away, get turned away, but now it's, like, every event needs so many people, and there's just so to need and not so many people working that they have to kind of oh, okay well it's your first year to do this you yeah just need someone to do it <laughs> yeah no i and 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 that's the thing it's and like, i'm not trying to say that these people aren't good i'm just saying like it's changed a lot a lot of changing yeah um it, you know it's funny that you brought that up obviously you talk about haunts that are you know coming into the area and and how much it's changed over the years obviously yes. you know with knots being the, the biggest one at the time and then horror nights you know stepping into the picture and slowly rising to get its status uh obviously you have you know fright fest which is all the way out there um dark harbor eventually made its way into the picture um in 2009 mm-hmm. and uh I mean, even the small haunts around like 17th door yeah 17th door. Point that was here yeah yeah 
Um, even some of the home haunts, you know, like you get a lot of these little home haunts that go up and, and, and do their own thing. Um, whether it be a, a name in the home haunt industry or someone who just literally wants to put up something in their backyard and, and just invite their yeah, friends out. Yeah, exactly. You know I mean? There's just so many options of things to do now, Yeah, which is great. But then, you know, the caliber of the talent goes down because if they don't get hired there, they're going to work somewhere else. They don't, instead of just working hard and coming back the next year. You know what I mean? Yeah, I feel that. But it, it's it's cool to see that uh, there are more haunts coming open. Um, yeah, obviously, no, that's cool. Yeah. My, my favorite thing is just like to always oh we forgot and... about hayride too. hayride Sorry, hey yeah hayride <laughs> i know you had a little we're, we'll talk a little bit about hayride later a little later too because i know you had some uh you had some fun playing over there last year so i did um but it, it's just cool to see all these haunts coming up and and we got a new one coming out this year hollow scream should be a lot of fun um yeah it's the one at sea world yeah i'm looking forward to that um should be a lot of fun and the returning of other major haunts because it's been a year off since for a lot of these theme parks. Yeah, everyone has, this is going to be a, a weird year because everyone has such high hopes. Everything's been closed for two years. Yeah. Or a year. Maybe two, yeah. So guests are expecting yeah. a lot. So hopefully everyone can deliver. I hope the energy is there, man. I would assume the energy will be there. Um, yeah. Yeah. But only time will tell. Um, yeah. So what did you do your first year working uh, the haunt? Oh, it's so embarrassing. Okay, so, <laughs> so back in the day, when you were new hire, you got a shitty spot. Okay. And that's it. It was your first year. You don't get to complain about it, and they say, okay, fucking, they say, go home then. Yeah. Like, they did not put up, and they still don't. This is why like, I love not so much, because I feel like they're very much, like, you work hard or you go home. That's right. It. Like, you don't want to do it? Okay, well, someone else does, so bye. Yeah. <laughs> We yeah, got a I whole list of people that. waiting. Come on. <laughs> yeah. So my first year, I was in Carnival of Carnivorous Clowns. Okay. The absolute worst costume you could have ever picture. <laughs> I was in a room that was full of, like, life-size fake stuffed animals. That's like hilarious. Fake, um, fake, you know, like, claw machine. Right. And I was dressed like a giant stuffed bunny. <laughs> not scary whatsoever it like literally was like an old easter bunny costume with the giant um like uh, giant head made out of like um plastic foam not foam like a a shape like a plastic shape you know right. it wasn't soft yeah yeah i had like big styrofoam shoes that i had to wear that like they grab it feet it was just not cute or scary or comfortable but it was my first year and so i did it and i didn't complain and then i got to be a common next year <laughs> nice um yeah so you were you then you moved on to the clown um i was the same maze same maze so I, I worked in that one for three years yeah so then i got to be like a position i really liked right and then that maze went away so that was sad <laughs> And then uh, after that maze closes out, uh, what was next for Allison? Then I went to, it was still doing maze, like rehiring. They, you still had to line up. It still wasn't like it is now. But they used to do this thing where if you'd be in line, they would come look at people in line. If you fit like a specific like look or more, more likely like size, right. they would offer you a card for like um, a makeup spot. Okay. And they offered me one for a grudge because apparently I looked like a tiny little Asian <laughs> girl that day. <laughs> so I was like the main girl from the grudge. That's, and but that <laughs> just the fact that you said I looked like a tiny little Asian girl that day. <laughs> I look like Kyoko. <laughs> That's her name. Um, uh, but no, so of course I took it because I was I felt so honored. Like, oh, you're gonna offer me like a spot? Like, of course I'll take it. Right. And it was so much so much fun, and that maze was so scary. Uh. How did you, did you, did you do a lot of research going into that? Did you have to, did you watch the movie many times just to try to get some moves down? Yeah. Yeah. And they had like the premiere of the second one in the park. Oh, nice. And the Charles Schultz theater. And then they had everyone from the movie come to the maze and like go through it. That's cool. And I remember Sarah Michelle Geller watching me and she said, she like looked at me and was like, that's not right. And like kept walking like, cause I was doing weird stuff with my arms. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> and she was giving me a look like, oh, <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> She's like, I already had to deal with it enough in the movie. Now I got to see it in real life. Yeah, <laughs> I guess that's the best compliment I could have gotten. <laughs> right? I mean, if, if Sarah Michelle Gellar thinks it's gross, who was in that film, you did something right that night. Yeah. I mean, there were, there were parts of that, that maze that we didn't like to walk through because we thought they were like too creepy. Right. Yeah. Like there's like a this, the last scene was this one like in the attic and it was like um mannequins that looked like the girl Kyoko yeah, all yeah. over. It's like screamy. And but some of them were real. Oh. And okay. I, I did not like that room at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those are always fun scares too. I, I see those a lot at uh horror nights now. You see like uh, multiple Michael Myers or like kind of just a Ugh. room filled with people. Uh especially when they did like uh when they did Insidious, there was like one room where like they walked yes, in. Yes, fuck just, that. Yeah, yeah, fuck I, that. And that movie gives me fucking nightmares as it is. Um, and then that 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 maze at the time, I think they were pushing that it had like tons of like audio animatronics in it, which it did. Right. But they were all so scary, and I hated. There's this one scene where it was like a closet would open and you'd see like legs dangling. Oh, and then she'd get like pulled up into the closet, and then the closet door would shut. Oh my god. And it was all animatronics, but I was like, no, thank you. Yeah. Do not want to walk past it. You see a lot of horror movies and you're just like, no. Yeah. And the maze itself was like really, really dark. Right. It was just, it was for the time. It was pretty scary. I mean, the the, the film alone, when that came out was pretty good. Uh, you know, there's, there's some scary uh, films, obviously. Oh, just, no, I liked it. Yeah. yeah, I did like it. And so to, to, for it to do kind of like a, a, a real life justice for it, uh, that's awesome. Uh, I had heard that then, was one of the IPs they got back in the day too. Yeah, and then they had done one for the movie Quarantine, which I thought was I really that cool one. too. Yeah, my favorite part was you, you walked in. The first scene was you outside of the was it the apartment building, right? Where the chaos is first starting, and there's yeah. a part halfway through the maze where they recreate that exact same scene. That's awesome, but it's ten times more chaotic. Yeah, because now just it's to kind of yeah. sh- exactly like, and I was like, that is so cool. I loved it. Yeah, I, I do remember uh, going to Knott's as a kid and seeing that. That was in Fiesta Village in that Sage area. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I do remember that walking cool. by there. Like, that was my biggest thing as a kid, just going to the uh, the park during the days and just watching, looking at all the decorations and all the maze facades and whatnot. Like, it was really cool. See, I love that. I know they don't want, they, like, think it ruins the day guest. But for me, I would go as a day guest yeah. because I wanted to see some of that, like, get a little sneak peek before I went tonight. Like I loved that. Yeah. It was really it would cool. It get me so hyped. Yeah. 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 I love doing that. Uh, it was just cool to see, like I said, a lot of the decorations and then you can see a lot of the facades that were visible. Uh, I remember, I know. um, was it doll factory? Was that what it yeah, was called? Yeah. That was in the barn. Yeah. I remember seeing that one like vividly. I remember seeing like giant eyeballs and, and whatnot. yeah. And then you're like, holy shit, I'm coming back to go inside yeah. this. No. Yeah. And I, I remember that, that year, 2008, when, when I went, I was like, oh yeah, I, we bought tickets. I'm finally gonna go check it out. And I didn't, I didn't go through that maze. <laughs> what? Did you puss out? I did. Yeah. Yo. I went man. through like, I think I went through one maze. I did the log ride and I did the Calico mine ride. And at the time that was when they had actors on the, on the ride. Yeah. Um, which I wish they would so bring that back. Uh, I know, but they, their argument, which I totally understand, they just recently redid all the animatronics in there, in okay. both of them. Like it's all new in both attractions, right? And so they don't want to damage them by moving them. Yeah, I, I yeah, that makes it, sense. They, I'm like, okay, fine, because <laughs> yeah. those are very expensive and hard to fix, and yeah. and I, I don't trust. Pe- I wouldn't trust actors. Um, to not break them. Yeah, I mean, one wrong hit or something, and it's just, boom, a hand falls off. <laughs> it's just not worth the risk. Exactly. Yeah. Um, but they still, I think they still do a great job, at least with the log ride to decorate it during Halloween still. Yeah, it's still fun. The, yeah. the thing they did um, in 2019 was pretty fun. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. I like to see all the decorations, and I just like the log ride in general. It's a fun ride. Oh, I do too. Whenever I go, I always like to do log ride in the mine train. It was, uh, it was funny because when we went in 2019, Sammy and I decided to go on it one night. And I don't know mm-hmm. what it, it might have been. It might have been the weight between us two, but we were hauling ass in that log, and it was like, <laughs> I was like, we are getting soaked. We are probably gonna die, but it's gonna be fun. So yes, <laughs> uh, I've always known that's where I'll die. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, at least if I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die somewhere I like. You know, it's like somewhere epic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so you did the Grudge. What What was next after yes. the Grudge? How many years did you grudge for? It was just so, was it a one year thing? 
just I just did one and then I for whatever reason I think I was at Disney at the time I didn't work the next year right it took a year off and then I did Club Blood which is so random oh that's a fan I was favorite. a vampire nurse <laughs> yeah that's a fan favorite right there a lot of people <laughs> continue to talk oh, about and that that was a fun fucking maze to work in was it and the one of the reasons is like the soundtrack was so high, like upbeat right. that it made it easy to like, you know, get into it and stay in character. Right. No, I agree. Good soundtrack always helps. like get you just like going. Yeah. No, I'm a, I'm a huge, uh, I'm a huge metalhead. So like when I, when I, when I go to haunts and especially when you go to like to Horror Nights, when you walk down the escalators and they're playing metal, I'm like the only one rocking yep. out on the escalator. Everyone's looking at me like I'm crazy. I'm like, it's fucking Iron Maiden, dude. Like, how are you not yep. rocking out to this, you know? Yeah, <laughs> and that and that maze, too, because you can hear the soundtrack through most of it until you get to, like, the hospital at the end, which I was, like, right before. Right. And everyone in the maze would be, like, grooving the whole night. <laughs> like, you'd walk around and you see a dancing vampire, like, even though there's no guests in there. <laughs> right. Everybody's just chilling. They're vibing with them, you know? <laughs> yeah, it was – Club Blood was a vibe. Yeah. Now that was that I, I heard that I heard a, a lot of stories of that. I've even seen POVs of that, and I, I freaking so mad I got to I missed that one too, man. I didn't I didn't go back it's, to Scary Farm until 2012. Uh, see, nothing will ever create something quite like that because yeah. just to even think of it to being like a club vibe is such like a different cool idea. Yeah, because you're well, you're so used to seeing the opposite, which is the slow moving, you know. Well, when I think Art of that club, and... that club vampire vibe, I think of Blade. Yeah, though that's there was a part of it that was inspired by the movie, right? And it was like after you went like backstage for the club, yeah. And there's all the people in the body bags getting sucked up through their blood. That was like a scene from Blade where they had that. Yeah, I, I absolutely. It's so, one of my favorite movies, right? There. It was very much inspired by Blade, and they're you know not by accident either. Yeah, no, uh, Club Blood. I mean, I've heard a lot of good things about it, and just the vibe aspect of it. I mean, I'm glad everyone that worked it had a great it was time. So fun. Yeah. And then see, even clown C3, that's like the OG clown maze, you know, that yeah. all the other ones tried to, to be. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Some of that stuff you just can't recreate, you know? No. It, and it's, and it's a thing. It's like, I, I've, I, I've been since 2019, I would love to see another werewolf or vampire maze. Um, yeah. or if we even got, a, 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 a crossover in the maze, you know, maybe vampires versus werewolves or something, and you're caught in the middle of it. So, be a lot of fun. That would be pretty freaking neat. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they definitely yeah. have a bunch of that vampire and werewolf stuff lying around. Yeah, I know they do back in the warehouse. They got to have it somewhere. It's just a matter of pulling it all. And out. it not loves to reuse stuff, but I wish I don't mind. I love. Yeah. I, one of the coolest parts is like the um, the original Berry Tales ride that was there. Right. Before dinosaurs and now the new Berry Tales. Yeah. Uh, how familiar are you with it? The original, not too much. I'm, yeah. I'm very familiar with dinosaurs, though. So you know, you've seen pictures. It was like a lot of uh, animatronic animatronics, bears right. and wool. Yeah. Yeah. So they and some of the mazes still have animatronics from Berry Tales. That's awesome. When you I was it. in yeah. Clowns, we had a few, and they weren't even like dressed up. So you couldn't tell. There was like a tiny clown on a ladder, but its feet were still exposed, and its feet were like bare feet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the, if you like looked under the rest of the costume, it was a bear. Was just you know, a bear, and yeah. I've and I've seen that pop up again. I think he was in um, Uncle Bobo's too. Okay. So shoot, like they made those animatronics pretty good, I guess. They're <laughs> yeah, I mean they keep and even them, so. Club Blood, that first scene where you're walking in through kind of like a downtown area, those were storefronts from Kingdom of the Dinosaurs. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I remember that I right vividly. Love, I love that they reuse stuff. Right. No, it's, it's I, always. I love coming back, seeing a prop, and being like, oh, I remember that yeah. prop. Yes. Well, you especially know? during Taste of Halloween, it was just cool to like walk through Camp Snoopy and then just see a lot of like the history of Scary Farm just laid out there as props. So it was really cool. Somebody recently posted online that they re just retired the Impaler, which is a sad day. Oh, man. He remember him from, like, the swamp. I think it was yeah. just one of his first year. Yeah. I guess it just got too broken. They posted, like, photos of it in the dumpster. I was like, no, why would uh, you post this? <laughs> like, give me the head at least so I could display it, you know what I mean, or something. It, you know? it, was, it wasn't it was posted. As a, it was posted as, like, an homage. Like, well, finally met his, you know, met the dust. But yeah. 
I was like, oh. It sucks, man. I know. When you see, like, stuff like that die off, you're just like, there goes a piece of history. But, you know, they got his bunnies worth out of it. Yeah. That wasn't a prop that they made. It was, like, a company that made that one. Yeah, but they used it for a lot of years, too. Oh, they I know. it back. But you love just seeing, like, oh, how they changed it for this made. Yeah. yeah, like how it was used differently and stuff. Yeah, I love that. So, Club Club Blood, uh, how long were you there at Club Blood? Just one year, and then I took... Oh, wait, let me look at my calendar, because now things are getting choppy. Now we're getting choppy. <laughs> yeah. So, that was 2008, and okay. then I took two years off. And then from 2010 to 2016, I did Dark Harbor. Oh. And starting in 2012, I did off-season stuff for Sinister Point, too. Okay. Uh, talk to us about a little bit. Of, I mean, I've been diving deep into that world lately. Uh, I was one of the only ones who, like, worked from the very, very start of it. Okay. Like, first year, second, third year. It was not the same event that right. it became. And, I mean, that's expected for anything, but... Man, like the costumes were so much different. I remember that the maze I started in was containment, which is on the boat by the medical right. area. Yeah. And man, we literally just used the props that were left in there from shipwreck. Like, right? Just, just <laughs> like, that's not even an exaggeration. <laughs> it was literally just what was already still in there. Right. And they added a couple lights, and then the sound was one speaker in the middle of the maze. And That's if hilarious. you weren't close, if you weren't near it, that sucks. <laughs> I know, just get all quiet. You're like, what, what's going on? And there were lots of, lots of nights where that sound didn't even work. And you were just, they didn't close it like they would normally do. They're just like, okay, it's too bad. And so you're just like, really? Improv it. <laughs> but that's just so awkward and embarrassing and yeah. it's embarrassing for the guests because and you, and you, and you know, they're thinking like, man, this is the worst thing I've ever gone through. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously they've, they've learned since then though. You know what I mean? Like, but like, we were the ultimate like guinea pigs. <laughs> yeah. You guys were like the ultimate test subject. Like, oh, how can we make this work now? Let's see what we can play with and we can't not, you know? Uh, and then, so I was, look, I was in that maze containment two or three years and then i did streets for two years and then i did um what was it oh and i can't remember what it was called the freak show one in the big uh, circus yeah then i did circus yeah yeah until the end of time yeah which i i loved because they made really cute outfits for me there you go that's all it is you just gotta play with it and have fun you know what i mean no, like she literally made me a dress. Like, here you go. I was like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> <was> so cute. <laughs> You're like mine. <laughs> it was it was a fun maze, but I it got to the point where they started pushing hard liquor. Ah, uh, yes. To, and to the point where I literally like the last two hours of the night weren't only not fun; they were like borderlining of me feeling unsafe. Right. And, then I've, and I've that, heard stories of that, too. Yeah, that combined with moving. I mean, obviously, the event got so popular, so we couldn't park on site anymore. But then having to shuttle in and out from on site par site parking was just such a hassle, too. Yeah. And it just was becoming more of like a chore than it was fun. And, you, you know, once you get like scared for your safety, like it's not like a lot of fun no more. <laughs> yeah, no, for real. It's like you're supposed to be doing the scaring and you're scared for your safety now. Yeah, and so I went, 2017, I went back to Knott's and I did Carnival, and that was a lot of fun. Oh, one of my favorites. Then 2018, now, my boyfriend decided he wanted to work. So, oh, we'll, 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 we'll get to it. Never mind. What are you going to say? I was going to say, uh, I, I have a buddy, uh, in, and I think you we have a, uh, we have a mutual friend here. Um, yes. His name is Matt. Uh, Matt? He is a, a character in Carnival. Um, okay. He, he goes by Joker. Um, Joker. He, he told me to ask you about a certain name that you were given. Who? Uh, Matt told me to ask you about a certain name what? that you were given. Me? Given a name? You were given like a name as a joke or something like that. Where? I think at Knott's. No. No, I don't, that's what he, I forget the name. It was something with the, had to do with the swamp. No. Sea Hag? Sea Hag. That wasn't, that wasn't from <laughs> I don't know if it was from Knott's. I don't know where it was from. He just told me to ask about that. Oh, 
my friends that do that uh, their podcast the scares anonymous they all call me that and i have no idea why but their moms call me it too and i'm like (laughs) (laughs) and there's like no i don't remember the explanation because none of them remember (laughs) and like there is only a few people that have ever called me that ever i don't advertise it so thanks a lot (laughs) i'm sorry uh you can actually thank matt for that one so i'll I'll, I'll, you know uh, he i think you you guys message about knots every now and then you should I'm going to find out who that is and I'm going to fight him. Tear him a new one. No, I'm down. <laughs> I'll even hold him down for you. Oh, Matt. I know Matt. You know Matt. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry. Duh. Yeah. Uh, that's the one you're going to want. Matt Barrera. Yes. That's the one you're going to want. I know him as Matthew. That's why. There's another Matt I know on Carnival. So that's why I got Okay. Yeah. yeah that's the guy you're going to want to go uh, kick his ass. Oh, uh, yeah. That sounds like him. He already has the ass kicking coming his way. It's <laughs> <laughs> like that, Matt. That's what you get for he, not coming on the podcast. He, must, he clearly must have listened to the other podcasts because that's the only place he would have heard them call me that. You know what's funny is I've called him out so many times. The guy will not come on the show. I don't know why. Um, so uh, It's because he's got too much shit. He doesn't want to get turned loose. Okay. Fair enough. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> it's probably true. It's, you know, that makes a lot of sense now. But uh, He doesn't want the truth to be told. <laughs> it shall set you free. <laughs> Um, so you did some Carnival. That was fun, huh? 2017. Um, I didn't have the best time. I'll be honest. Okay. I was like one of those years where I had like a lot going on in my personal life. So I like, wasn't like a hundred percent like into it. And then I had, uh, I got hired to do marketing, which mean I had to come in early to do the pre scare dinners. Okay. And then any of like the filming stuff that they would do. Nice. Which, no, but it was not because no? okay. the, <laughs> in retrospect, it sounds cool, but that meant that every night I was there, I had to work a full eight, even okay. though you wouldn't yeah. always work that on sometimes streets, you'd be like six hour nights. Right. So I was a full eight. And so I, I'd had to leave usually before the park closed because I'd hit my eight hours. So I missed out on like getting ready with the rest of the crew or like getting unready at the end of the night with everybody. Yeah. So I didn't really... I only really could talk to people that I already like knew ahead of time. Cause I, I wasn't there to bond like at all during bonding times. Right. You know what I mean? Does that make sense? Getting pumped up in the beginning and then at the end. Exactly. About the night. Yeah. So by the time I got to, to the zone, I was taking my first breaks. I'd already been there and like spurs for two hours and I was already like irritated. Yeah. <laughs> and everyone's already like just getting going out for the just night. Just getting just started. Like, yeah. And you're like, God, I got six more yeah. hours of this. <laughs> and I'm already like tired. Exactly. Yeah. And Carnival, it's so different because it's, it's so brightly lit right. that you, as like a smaller female, you have to keep moving or guests will like try to f- like fuck with you. They'll come up behind you. You know, they'll try to be cute and funny. That's a big Because no-no. it's so, yeah, no, of course, because it's so brightly lit, there's nowhere to just like like duck into a shadow really quick like there would be in the other zones yeah so you'd be like just exposed for so long so you had to make sure nothing happened you know yeah no you have to be really on your toes in that zone right there everyone obviously looked out for each other but it was just that you were so just like out there and exposed yeah the the, the guests i think would go out of their way to try to you know be a little i'm I'm calling it being cute but it wasn't being cute it wasn't it's not it never is (laughs) Trust me, no, I, I see it not. all. I see it all the time. I'm I'm practically like an unofficial haunt security guard when it comes to that shit. Good. <laughs> and I mean, I can I can take care of myself. It was just like the combination of like stuff outside of it, like me showing up already like in a bad mood, and then you know being tired from the pre scare and just yeah. like not wanting. Like, well, just like come on. My yeah. thing though too is like when you get people like that, it just ruins everything. Like you you know you're you're sitting there watching someone set up for something, and then someone else comes and ruins it. It's like, dude. Yeah, exactly. Like I'm, I'm and sitting like, out of my, I'm, I'm out of the way. I'm sitting. I'm waiting on purpose because I know she's about to do something, but I'm not making it obvious that I'm waiting for her. And you just come up and ruin it. You know what I mean? Exactly. And then the way my mask was and the wig that I wore, they like rested a specific way in my head that it gave me a really bad like migraine I, from the pressure yeah. that would start like the second I put it on, and just so the whole night I would have just like a searing pressure migraine too. Yeah. This is just like, it's okay. It was an off year. That happens. Yeah. We all have off years. Uh, and so, yeah. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. No, yeah. I was going to, 
I was going to say, uh, I, I always thought Carnival 2 was one of the hardest scare zones to scare in because of how brightly lit it is. Yeah, it, the, it just, but I like it because then you can't rely on like shadows. And I mean, stuff. you really, yeah, you really are exposed and you really have to be in it on, on it all the time. Yeah. You know, you can't just duck into the shadow and hide for 10 minutes to catch your breath like no you're you're out there you know yeah for sure no i i 100 agree and i'm not saying any other place is not as hard i'm just saying my personal experience being in a brightly lit zone where there's nowhere to hide it's it's a challenge yeah no it definitely is i mean everything you're, you're like i said you're moving constantly all night you know zooming from one guest to another so it, exactly it's it's really on a on a creative standpoint you just you, you just have to learn uh to just really be smart with the scares and one that my mic stand is falling off that's awesome oh no ah, and then it, get back in. <laughs> nope, nope, and then it just being so bright guests just weren't like the atmosphere wasn't scary so they didn't come in looking behind their back like they would in you know forsaken lake right yeah it's it's mostly a uh, really just yeah it's it, but it's that one alley too but also what i've noticed too when it gets really packed it's a good way to uh to blend in between people to get other scared exactly too. yeah no that makes it easy especially because i'm short i kind of use that to my advantage like ducking down right but then like two two hours after doing that your back hurts yeah exactly <laughs> uh you just kind of like oh uh, you get up you feel like the hunchback so and I'm like, oh, I can't, I'm not going to be able to get up one more time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, I, I 100% of, I agree with that because even when I do ducking for, like, work or something, it's just my back get up and I'm just like, I'm too tall for this shit. <laughs> yeah, it it was an experience and I'm glad I did it and it made me stronger. But uh, God bless everyone who who works their butt off over there because it's, it's very hard. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I know everyone wants to do it because, oh, I want to be a clown. Okay, but that's not all there is to it. Yeah, it's more, <laughs> it's more than meets the eye with that one. Um, yeah. Sinister Point. I want to hear a little bit about that. That's one haunt I've never gotten to really hear about. Yeah. So I'd never done anything for Halloween there. Right. They'd always, like, wanted me to, but it was usually, like, volunteer. And I'm like, I'm not going to do this for free. Sorry. Right. Like, <laughs> like, I'll help you for a random weekend here and there, but I'm not going to give you a month and a half for free when I can work another haunt and get Hey, that just doesn't make sense exactly and but that year my boyfriend he was like wanted to give it a try because he hasn't he just never tried it before and you know i was coming off that weird year at knots and i was like you know what let's just work because they were doing scary place so i was like let's just give it a try right oh he ended up like hating it from like the first day oh man that's not good <laughs> but at that point i was like look i was like we committed i was like i committed i'm coming every night i was like you can do whatever you want but I already said I'd be here, so yeah. and it just it's not for everyone. No. And I'm but I'm glad he tried that there or not. If he went to knots, he would have not had a good time. Right. Because <laughs> this is one where we know everybody and you're still not having fun, you know? Yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah you want to make the best out of it and, and enjoy what you do for the night, you know. So Yeah, and if you don't enjoy it, don't do it. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, I, I'm more of the guy who just enjoys sitting there and watching everyone get yeah. scared. You know what I mean? So that was that, but I enjoyed it throughout the years, specifically like their Christmas haunt was where I, I loved work being a part of. Okay. Yeah, I, I, but, I, I'm i a big fan of those too. I love Christmas haunts. They were I think, one of the first ones to do the Christmas thing over here. And when they had first did it, when it was in their warehouse in Brea, it was pretty awesome. I bet. I mean, I, I wish I could have seen that, but yeah, I, I've been to a few and. Oh, there's some embarrassing videos still online oh. and uh, that I'm unfortunately part of. <laughs> I usually, usually do a pretty good job at, like at knots when the video is coming through of like ducking because I don't want to see footage 10 years later of me looking so dumb. <laughs> 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 but there you have. I couldn't hide because there's like one person per room and they're like interactive. So you, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, so, so get, so that's get, unfortunate. Don't, so, so get lots of footage of you this year is what you're saying. Well, it's different <laughs> if it's like a picture, but not if it's like a, uh, I don't like videos. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, cause I, cause also cause I love my friend, one of my good friends, one of my best friends, he, 
he's coming back to knots this year too and he um hasn't worked there in a few years but one of the years he did it was like he did corn stalkers and delirium from back in the okay. day and i re- i found all the old scare school videos that they had done yeah and i f- i found his delirium one i i sent him all like the link like the snippets of him in it and he's like i hate you so much <laughs> and so that's why i don't want to be in them because in 10 years from now there's gonna be cringy videos of me at Sarah scare school <laughs> <laughs> i know you're just you're reminiscing back on the past you're like i really did that <laughs> yeah and i'm like yeah, i'm like look how stupid you look <laughs> how dare you <laughs> uh, so so you do carnival what do you what's what's next after that that was the sinister point for the year sinister point yeah so it's sinister point carnival you you did uh those two those are two years and then the year after i was like you know i'm going back to knots by myself because you you know you're not working hot with me again you blew it <laughs> <laughs> you're like i thought this was gonna be fun and, and it, yeah no. i thought this was gonna be a bonding experience and we're just arguing because you, you don't like feedback <laughs> um <laughs> Is, I'm not talking shit. I've said this all to his face a million times. <laughs> <laughs> they laugh about it now. Uh, no, I still laugh about it. He, yeah. he still doesn't think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> but so then I was like, I went back to Knott's. Um, I went, I did, I, if you miss a year, you have to come back as a new hire. Right. Which means you have to audition again, which is whatever. F- except I like, auditions are not fun for me. Right. Because I get, I overly like psych myself out. Okay. I like to like that. get over anxiety before things start. You know what I mean? I'm, I, the, I'm the same way with interviews and whatnot. So, Oh, I just don't like them, especially like for a haunt, but it's a, cause there's a group interviews in front of like a table of five people. Yeah. There's a lot of people judging you at once. <laughs> right. No, I feel and, I, I've um, seen those videos too. Like it just, it just, it just looks nerve wracking. So cringy and awkward and embarrassing, and even more when you're actually doing it. See, my mindset though would be like, we're all gonna be doing some out of the ordinary things here. You know, might as well just roll with it. I know for me, it doesn't get easier. Like it gets like more cringy for me doing it every year. So I get, <laughs> I get more embarrassed. Cause I'm like doing it next to like 18 year olds, and I'm just like, Ugh, I just don't. Look. You're like, oh. <laughs> So then I did that and they offered me, they, had, they let me pick, they spawn Waxworks or Origins. And at the time, obviously they were so, they were new and hadn't been announced. Right. So they, they, they're like cute and secretive. Like, oh, you can be in this maze and the character, I can't tell you anything else, but it's Melted Doll or this other maze, but I can't tell you anything about that character. <laughs> I, was, I was like, okay, is one of the makeup? Like, yes, like that's okay, just give me that one. Like, okay. <laughs> You're like, I want the makeup position. Like, give me that one. So then Waxworks was a ton of fun. A ton of fun. Uh, that was one of my favorites. We went through that a couple times, actually. Of all the, like, warehouse mazes I've worked, indoor mazes, though, it was by far the hottest. Was it? I was like, dying, yes. They're like, AC who? <laughs> oh, God, it was so, so hot in there. What uh, what that, scene were you in Waxworks? I was a melted doll. So we were supposed to look like fucked up dolls. Okay. And it was supposed to be like an homage to Doll Factory, except we were not cute at all. And that was so, so it's a bummer to me. <laughs> was I it had that, like high hopes. Was it when that I heard, scene oh, doll. after the B room? Yep. Okay. We all had like, there were two orange dresses and two pink ones. We had pigtail wigs and like melty faces. Okay. I remember those vividly. Yeah. Not cute at all. I was <laughs> so I was like, Oh, maybe I'll be something cute. And I was like, okay, JK. <laughs> You're like, yeah, no, maybe next year. <laughs> yeah. So, but it was still fun, you know? Right. That, that sounds, I mean, that's cool to open up a maze that year though, too, a brand new one. Um, I, I like that. And anyone who, you know, is not excited to do that. What I tell them is you you get to create this character. You're not yeah. coming in where, where people are going to be like, oh, well, the guy here last year did this. Right. No, you get to 100% make it your own. Yeah, you, you know? set the and bar for that, that character does and everything. So, And I would much rather do that than try to, like, live up to someone who was in there last year, you know? Exactly. Yeah, no, I 100% feel that. I mean, it, it, it's cool to, to have your own spin on it and then. It yeah, you want to be the one where next year they're like, oh, the guy that was there last year was awesome. Yeah, you need to like either be on his level or be better than that. You know what I mean? Exactly. So, 
uh, yeah, Waxworks was a very, a very fun time. I remember Sammy and I going through that. We just had it was gorgeous. Awesome. Yeah, good, a good. I mean, I like the whole. You know, you're going through the the museum in the beginning, and then as you go deeper and deeper, you're going to it's the layer. It's more and, fucked up, basically. Yeah. You see all you're the going into up, the innards. Like, yeah, I, I saw some like human centipede like inspiration in there with like some statues and whatnot. Those and, sculptures were so pretty. Yeah, it's just you know those had it taken just. Oh yeah. So much out. time. Like, the stuff in that maze was gorgeous. Right. Yeah. I mean the whole the whole story behind it too and everything was awesome. So. Yeah, I really, I really time. liked it. Um. So t- what was that? 2019. That was 2019. Yeah. 2020. Last year of nuts. <laughs> yeah. 2020. The last, the, that was the uh, the, the pan- bastardy year. The pandemic year, man. The the uh, the year that was the toughest on the haunt. Year season. that everyone got fat because they weren't yeah. working out a haunt. Yeah. <laughs> I, I I was one of those people. Yeah, I would like to use my legs, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you did a few nights at Hayride, correct? I I did part season at a. A haunt in Nebraska yes. called Roca Scary Farm, which okay. was so like it is exactly what you're picturing of like a Midwest barn haunt. Right. The location itself was so cool. Like it was like a mini town almost where they just right. they had they, they have weddings and it's like a real farm and they have a lot lot to it but they so they three themed everything nice. and they had like a hayride portion of the maze which is really impressive and there was like a, a woods maze and there's a few indoor ones and for like i think there were like five mazes and the production quality for being some like you know small thing in the middle of nebraska was pretty impressive awesome yeah, I remember seeing so, videos of that on your on your story, and I'm like, that, yeah, we were, this they let us shoot fireworks into the hayride. That was cool. There's ones that you shoot off from your hand that are like highly illegal. There was a box there, and they're like, good luck, good luck, everybody. You can they're, shoot these if you want. I was like, excuse me. Are they illegal in Nebraska though? Probably not. No, no not in yeah. Nebraska. <laughs> they don't even care in Nebraska. They're like, you we illegal just, fireworks. Yeah. yeah. And we stood out there and shot them like at the trailer. And I was like, is this okay? And they're like, yeah. I'm like. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm going to do it. And better not get in trouble for it later. <laughs> yeah, those videos are of us just blowing shit up. I'm like, was encouraged by the haunt. So, <laughs> yeah, she had the time of your life with them. That's all that matters. Yeah, it was pretty interesting. And then so I did that partially. It actually started like snowing our last day there. So, and I was very happy to leave. <laughs> You're like, it's too cold. I'm out. And then I did part of the season for Hayride. And I oh like low God. key almost wish I would have done the whole season there. I because it was so rewarding. For anyone who talks shit about that event from last year, like, no. That was a fun event in my opinion. They never they never said it was gonna be a regular haunt, a traditional haunt. Yeah. The, the people that were mad were the ones that were expecting that. Yeah, I, I did VIP and I had the very back row at one when I went the second time, and I had great experiences both times. <laughs> The production quality was high. Everything they offered, there was a lot of it. Everyone that worked there was super, super, super nice. Yeah. And I liked it because it was uh, every show. There were six shows a night. And then in between them, you know, you get to go back, sit for a few minutes while they load the next Hydrate, one Hydrate, you know. get a, Start you know, over. Yeah. yeah. So if you had a few bad guests, okay, they're gone now. Now it's all brand new cards. It's yeah. a brand new show. Yeah. You know, so there, there were so many times throughout the night if you were having a bad time to kind of like redeem yourself in a way. Right. Yeah. I, I saw a lot of fun stuff at that event too. There was people like messing with people in the cars and whatnot. They were rolling up their windows, but yeah. they would stay there and I'd hear screams in the cars. I was dying. It was very rewarding. I If they had done a similar event this year, I would have highly considered going back, but they're not. They're going back to Griffith Park. Want, want. Are they going back to Griffith or I thought they were staying in San Dimas? Um... They are wanted to stay. They have their facility there. Okay. They wanted to, but I yeah. think, and they've said a few times now that they're going back and it's going to be more of a traditional haunt again. Okay. I'm down with that. Uh, but yeah, that, that, that last year's concept uh, for the pandemic and, and for them to put it in. Uh, Monty it is what made oh. that show. Monty is legendary. <laughs> And I cannot give him enough praise. He was the hardest working man there. We, he, he would yeah. come to the beginning of the night. You'd have like your little pep talk. He would be there. Hey, guys, if you want to work on a bit, let me know. I, 
you know, I want to do it with you. He'd go be up in his booth. He'd already be down walking around cars before it even started. I never saw him take a break. As soon as it ended, he'd be back up in his trailer, welcoming the next cars in. Like that man. That, yeah, I, I noticed like, that actually. A standing ovation every night. He was awesome. Guy would walk around with a chainsaw and everything, man. I loved it. Uh, he would, didn't he did not stop. He never said anything negative. Like yeah. I think I think too it was it was the appreciation that they still did something even though the circumstances were different, you know what I mean? And that's what I liked about it and I appreciate it. Like, you know what? We can't give you a full experience, but we're going to give you some another type of experience. So. Not to mention that specific haunt was put on in a very short period of time. Yeah. And it still came out fantastic. And they actually changed it a lot. Yeah. When it first opened, the scare actors that ran through the cars, they had, I think, like three costume changes they were supposed to do per show. Right. That lined up with the videos. But they ended up cutting them out because um, it was just so much to do. And, and it, they, they'd rather had people running around instead of backstage changing. Right. But so they really put a lot into it. And all the costume, or not, most of the masks were specifically made for them right you know they yeah. didn't just go buy some cheapy math they were uh, all made for the event yeah they were very selective too of who they chose to come in and out right yeah from my understanding they were just like people who they recognized yeah <laughs> or whose name they recognized had and doing something before right it, or people or if they hadn't heard any like horrible story about them they're like okay you're hired yeah so yeah they, yeah they didn't really do an audition at all it was just people that applied who you know didn't have a bad rep i guess i don't yeah. know yeah no that makes sense and i, I even, it was a really small crew yeah cook and uh and uh and uh which mccall it scared for one night too didn't they um i think so i wasn't there the night he did unfortunately but yeah no. they would they would have guests come in and just like volunteer for a night you know yeah that was a lot of cool a lot of fun um now we're in. I remember too. Remember that that last season that like, it was really windy a few nights. Yeah, it was. Uh, yeah, there was a high winds even for some home haunts that got knocked over. Yeah, there was uh, like some cornfield that got just like yeah. leveled. Yeah. But so a lot of the a lot of the, the stuff out there at Hayride got knocked over and. Yeah. Which is like so sad because like we we're almost at the end of the season and we were trying so hard and then like half the shit gets blown over and like they're inflatable screens like got ripped from the wind like yeah it was just like come on <laughs> yeah it's like give us a break we're almost done here <laughs> yeah um, it was a bummer so now we're entering uh closer and closer to 2021 hell yeah it's looking like we're going back to normal again uh Allison, i'm ready what what's the plan what, what are your overall plans for this year i am going to ghost town this year <laughs> Ooh. which is extremely random as well. Yeah, Interesting. They, yeah, they um they didn't do auditions for rehire. We just did phone interviews and so they they told us that they based it all off of our 2019 performance because every year the management comes through and they t they do reviews. They don't right. show you obviously. They put it in your file for when you come back the next year. Right. And so yeah, uh, but I kind of wish that's how rehire would always be and, and not audition. <laughs> right. Because it, it's a I'd good rather, way to for them to evaluate you of your performance during exactly. the season. Yeah, yeah, I'd rather be hired or placed rather based on how I did for a month and a half rather than how I did for five, 30 seconds. Yeah, know? no, I, I agree, completely agree because there's a lot of improvement that even in, it, it, you can look at too. Where like you may have not felt like it was good in the beginning of the season, but like towards the middle end of the season, you started like doing stuff that you were like, okay, that's that's yeah. Really or they know for a fact, like, hey, you were here every night, you were here in time, you were solid. Yeah, you know exactly. So and so when they called, <laughs> they were, they didn't even give me a choice. They just said, based on your performance, we'd like to offer you this spot. And I was like, okay. I mean, I would have taken anything they said. Right, just getting back into the groove of things. Exactly. I was just happy. I'm happy to be back. It doesn't matter what they said. I would have said yes. I will be there. Well, I'm happy you're on Ghost Town. That's gonna be a lot of fun to see what you do with that this year. It is. I I'm excited. Some of my some really good friends of mine are also, and so just that already is gonna make it a lot better. Cause yeah, we're we're talking about you know being running partners and that'd be cool. That'd be a lot of fun. Well, yes. You know we'll be there to support. That'll be yes, a lot of fun. Yes, and I will be there to embarrass myself. Um, just you know when you see Sammy, scare him because he scares easy. You know, so that'll be a lot of fun for you and a good laugh for me. So. 
Oh, it'll be a good laugh for me. It'll be a good laugh for you too. <laughs> so uh, just make sure you catch him when you when he's least expecting it. You know, off guard. You know, if he's looking one I'll, way, I'll use the sh- the shortness as my, to my advantage exactly. and come Perfect. up from underneath. Yeah, that's my. Perfect. Yep. I'm I'm looking forward to it. Uh, yeah, and I'm excited to see what all the new stuff is. You know, they, yeah. they've been pretty secretive about yeah. it. So yeah, a lot of they're new doing stuff a good, coming. They're doing a good job of not telling anybody anything. <laughs> uh, Allison, I'm hoping. Uh, well, you know, we've been talking about bringing you on the channel for about a year now. Uh, yes. So this isn't the last you're going to see of her. I she'll will be, return. She'll be. And I will have a lot some, to say. Some dust, you know, as we go. You know, she'll be sparkling some yes. of her Allison magic. <laughs> Uh, that's just dust because I'm old for my joints. <laughs> uh, uh, but she'll be she'll be returning more to talk, whether it's haunts or, or just horror in general. She'll be on the channel to talk it. So I uh, expect to see her more often. If you guys were keeping up, that's what a lot of the, my cryptic tweets were leading up to. So uh, it's not that Jaws was coming. It was me. Uh, I'm the was, female. <laughs> it, is, it is her. It was her. So um, very happy to have you on board. Thank you. Uh, Same. Very, very happy to have a different perspective on things as well. Um, as far yes. as uh, a person who who's actually worked in the industry and whatnot. So I cannot wait to see where the future holds for this channel with you on it now. Yay. And Good footage this year yes. from everything. Yes. Absolutely. Yes, yes. And uh, we're excited to see you go. So, Allison. Uh, where do you have any social media that anyone could follow you on, or are you just oh, yeah, follow my Instagram because that's where I do most of the haunt related stuff, and it's Chainsaw Dollface. Chainsaw Dollface, simple as that. Uh, go ahead and look her up, follow her. You'll see a lot of her history, what she's done in the past, and whatnot. So, a lot of good stuff on there. So, just don't be one of those weirdos that goes and likes every picture. No, you can do that. It's okay, fine. they can do that. <laughs> Cause I, not sometimes, every picture. Not sometimes every I'll picture. get pictures liked from like four years ago. I'm like, um, that, that was an accident. Probably <laughs> <laughs> they're like, Oh shit. Just, you just so I've done that. Like, I've been looking and I've dropped my phone. I'm like, Oh God, I accidentally liked, liked it. it. Yeah. <laughs> um, but go follow her. She, she puts all of her, uh, haunt stuff on there and it's a lot of good stuff to, to check out. Um, Allison, it's been an absolute pleasure. We finally got to do this. Thank you. Yes, I will be talking to you soon. For sure. Uh, with that all being said, guys, if you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button with that bell notification. You'll be aware every time we put up a new video. Follow us on any of the streaming platforms you are listening to this podcast on currently, whether it be Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Anchor, whatever it may be. Leave a follow and continue to listen to them weekly. Uh, follow us on social media at Knights of Horror on Twitter and at the Knights of Horror on Instagram. Until then, we will see you guys next time for another podcast. Bye. You're moving into a dimension of mind. You're moving into a dimension of mind. You're moving into a dimension of mind. Madhouse Podcasting Network.